On the 19th and 20th of July, we ran the Watertight Marketing Online Conference for the very first time. I'm Bryony Thomas, and I'm here today just to run you through what I took from those sessions and the sessions that are now available for you to grab if you weren't able to join us live. In the first session, I ran my Plug Your Marketing Leaks, which is the, uh, my most popular keynote. And in that session, it's a 90-minute session with a full worksheet, and there are worksheets for every single one of these sessions. So in this first session, I took um, everybody through the 13 touchpoint leaks. We did a traffic light assessment on where you were against that leak to build up to a priority action plan for your business. And then we looked at how to really approach those in what order to get fastest payback on your business and to go from yo-yo marketing to watertight marketing and sustainable sales growth. That's a 90-minute session with me, Bryony Thomas, Plug Your Marketing Leaks. The session that we then went on to was with Joshua Morse. And Joshua asked the question, what makes you different? He went through a really clear process for helping you to determine what your buyers want, what they understand, and what really makes you stand out. He helped you to, to work through, in a very logical way, where the big opportunity is for you to stand out and get noticed, and specifically in making something compelling that people really want to buy. So that session was with Josh Morse on what makes you different. We then went on to a session with Stephen Bateman on planning marketing content. He went through creating content that not just creates traffic and clicks, but actually supports sustainable sales results. He talked through creating personas, mapping your marketing to the buying decision, and creating a powerful 12-month content calendar that means that you're hitting the right themes and the right ideas at the right times to make sure that you are putting content out there that actually generates you sales and profit. We then got really practical in a session with Cara Stanford. Cara um, did a half hour session on copywriting. Now she took it from the uh, position that you've probably write some pretty good copy, but how do you notch it up? And she went through some really practical examples and gave you a, a, in her workbook, there are ways, a piece of copy for you to practice these things. So that when you've written a piece of copy, you can look at it and then notch it up into copy that's really powerful on the page. She was then joined in that session for another half an hour with Ben Wheeler. And Ben talked about not just writing your own copy, but briefing a copywriter, briefing a content provider to help you produce phenomenal content that sounds like you, that's delivered on time and on budget, and is something that um, you can learn from as you go through developing your relationship with a content provider. And he went beyond the obvious. He really went into some things that help you to build a really a powerful, appropriate and long-term relationship with someone that you would really want on your team writing copy for you. We then finished off day one with Jane Cuthbertson and Jane did a session on creating emotional engagement. Oh, it was a fantastic session. We, we always hear, don't we, it's really important to create an emotional connection with your, with your customers and with your prospects. Now, Jane didn't say just this is what you should do. She showed you how to do it, how to use colour, how to use words, how to use sounds and how to map them against the logic sandwich from Watertight Marketing so that you're hitting the right emotional notes at the right time. Really powerful, powerful session. So if you've ever wondered how um, for your proposition, how for your products and services, you create emotional engagement, this was an absolute masterclass. On day two, we were joined by Julie Mitchell Meta, and she kicked off the day um, with an overview of how to use social media strategically to support sales results. She went through the core platforms and she mapped them against the watertight marketing process, showing you how social media can be used at every step of the sale to support people all the way through from initial awareness through to um, loyalty and repurchase. A really good overview for anybody who's getting a handle on social media. 
We then um, had Roz Conkey join us, and Roz did a session on Facebook marketing. Really, really good session. I mean, if you've um, thought about Facebook and thought maybe it's not quite right for your audience, maybe you're in business to business, or you've thought that advertising's a bit scary and would swallow all your money straight away, um, this is a fantastic session. I mean, if you've even flirted with the possibility that Facebook might be right for you. If you watch this session, you will leave with specific ideas that you can apply right now to make a significant difference to your um, to your profitability and to your marketing. She talks through an approach where with just 20 names, um, you could run a campaign on Facebook um, that's the equivalent to spending you know, hundreds of thousands of pounds um, just, just five, 10 years ago. Phenomenal. Um, and then Peter ran a session on CRM, Customer Relationship Management and Data. And wow, what a big topic. Uh, what was really interesting about this session was that it was specifically for people who are either thinking of um, investing in software, thinking that marketing automation, CRM and data is something they really need to get their heads around. But it was also very, very useful for people who've already made investments in their software and already have piles of data and are thinking about organizing it and using it in a more powerful way. Um, really useful session from Peter who distilled a really complex topic in, in 40 five minutes of useful practical stuff that you can take away and make a difference in terms of the way that you approach your data think about choosing technology and approach customer relationship management that was a CRM and data with Peter Baines we then um, kept on the practical theme and Rachel Re Wheatley ran a session on uh, resourcing and recruitment. So with all of this stuff, people think, how am I going to get it all done? Um, and Rachel approaches uh, looking at when do you insource something? When do you outsource something? And took us through a model that she's developed to just help you to work out where you are on the model and think about, therefore, whether it would be most appropriate to outsource it or most appropriate to insource that. And she then mapped resourcing and recruiting onto the Watertight Marketing Growth Model to show where you're likely to need somebody to do the work for you, where you are likely to work alongside an outsourced provider in a done with you capacity, and then when it is most likely that you would want to be recruiting into your own team to support sustainable growth. Really, really good session. If you're thinking about employing somebody, working with a consultant, getting an intern, you know, any of those resourcing questions, fantastic session with Rachel on resourcing and recruiting. And with it, we then finished off with a really power-packed, high-energy session from Cheryl Crichton on getting everything done. And she just went through her seven top tips, you know, the techniques that she uses to get stuff done. And boy, does she get stuff done. It was really good fun. And I took so much from that session. Some of the, I mean, some of the things I, I knew, um, but there's, no, there's knowing something, there's doing something. And it was a really good session for really giving you that kick to go and put into place some, some of the things you know will work to get you productive, to get you energized and to get that stuff done. So if you were with us live, I'd love to hear what you took from those sessions. I just found it um, a phenomenal couple of days and you can see the wrap up video on our Facebook page. If you weren't able to make it or if you want to watch some back, you can now buy those sessions. So if you want one session, it's £25. If you want to choose three of those sessions, it's £70. If you'd like six of those sessions, it's £120. And with all of those packages, you get a digital copy of Watertight Marketing, my award-winning book. And if you go for all sessions at £195, then you get a signed copy of Watertight Marketing delivered to you. So go ahead, choose whichever one of those um, floats your boat because they were brilliant. I, I, um, I'm just delighted I was able to listen and share every single session because uh, I got to listen to them and take the wisdom from this phenomenal network of consultants and I hope you do as well. Now we're doing it all again uh, on the 18th and 19th of October and the live event was fantastic. We had chat going on in the Facebook group, we had chat going on on social media, all of the speakers were available for people to ask questions of so it was phenomenal to, to actually come along live. And we're now planning the agenda for October. 
We've got some great stuff um, that we've had ideas from the people who attended and we have our own ideas. We're going to be looking at LinkedIn. We're going to be looking at Twitter. We're going to be looking at um, Leak Zero, so um, your proposition and are you watertight ready? We're going to be looking at um, offline marketing and integrating that with your online marketing. It's going to be a brilliant couple of days. So set those dates aside now. Save those dates. The 18th of 19th of October, we're going to be doing it all again with brand new topics um, building on what we've already done and bringing in some things that we didn't cover in these uh, last couple of days. So grab the sessions that, um, that the recordings now that you want to and save those dates for the 18th and 19th October. I will see you there. Cheers. Bye.